For folks who enjoy on-ice activities like ice fishing and snowmobiling, this has been a great winter, thanks in large part to our well below average temperatures. It's easy to get the sense that this ice will last a very long time, but it's slowly starting to melt now. Unfortunately, people will be thinking that, that because we've had such a, um, a cold winter and it has been um, below zero a number of times, you know, we get lulled into the fact thinking that this ice is going to stay for a long time into the season. Um, however, the, the ice is going to begin to flow. The, we're starting to get the snow melt, and it does become more of a hazardous condition. Well, on a gorgeous day like this out here on Oneida Lake, it's easy to get lulled into a sense of complacency uh, this time of the year. I asked the commissioner what people should be mindful of if they're thinking about heading out on the ice. Well, they really should be thinking about, with, you know, first verifying and making sure that the ice, anything less than two inches of new ice really people should stay off of. It's very dangerous. You really need to have four inches of newer ice, um, solid ice, to even go out to do ice fishing and to go out for foot traffic out on the ice. If you're going to venture out and you're going to get out, go out on the ice, you need to be thinking about okay, what's gonna, what do I do if I was to go through the ice? Because there's some things that you can do to, um, to be a survivor, to help yourself. You can carry ice picks and use them to pull yourself out if you fall in. Preparing with information and tools will help keep you safe on the ice and avoid putting emergency responders in danger. Reporting from Oneida Lake, I'm CNY Central, First Alert Meteorologist Matt Stevens.